Hey, uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com, and here's a little free video for you on Sherwin Williams. Okay, this has been a just a monster stock. Um, it's been one that I've been covering for for quite a while. I think like the duration of this chart here, and I'd been saying that as the stock, you know, it kind of extended above. Uh, the 50-day moving average. You could see this MACD moving average convergence divergence. It's a momentum and trend indicator. Was giving you a little negative divergence. Don't sell, but watch. Because at some point, a stock's going to top. You never know when it is. Typically, you don't. Uh, and with this negative divergence, it was something that you just wanted to be careful about because a stock that moves this high is ultimately going to start drifting lower. And the line of demarcation here was the 50-day moving average. Well, for one day, last Wednesday, the stock moved below that on volume. I think it was a downgrade, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but... Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I couldn't tell you, and I'm not going to go back and look because I really don't care that much. Um, but they announce earnings on the middle of April. The middle of April, I think it's, yeah, it's April 16th is when Yahoo Finance has it. So in my view, that's like the next catalyst uh, for movement on this stock. But after this kind of break on Wednesday, the fact that the stock is higher on volume on Friday, like big volume here, that gives me the sense that there's more buying uh, ready to go. So this is a stock, and I, I mentioned this to uh, in the strategy session, or I think it was the, it's our first video on the weekend update. That one of the questions you're asking yourself as a uh, as an investor or as a trader as you buy something is who's behind me? Like, are there other is there other money that's going to be coming and buying the stock at a higher price than me so I can actually have a profit? And what I'm saying is, after this kind of move on thir on Wednesday, it just seems to me like this was kind of a washout. And as I look at this now, this stock starts trading above 290 again. Uh, I think this is going to be a, a real, I mean, this is just a really nice continuation um, of what's happening already. Um, so... By the way, members, you're hearing me typing this in the background. I'm typing an alert, and you guys that are on your on the free um, chart, which is fine, love you all, just glad you're watching the videos, you may want to set a personal alert for $292. That just gives me this indication when the stock blows through here, and I think it will, that the stock is breaking out, and that's my buy signal, at least my looky-look signal, and unless the stock reverses right away, it is something that I'm going to want to buy on a move above 292. Members, you'll be getting that alert um, as a part of our service. So anyway, that's it for this video. Sherwin-Williams looks good. Little sideways consolidation, but compare this to like Home Depot and Lowe's and some of those other home improvement um, companies, and you'll see that they're all getting ready to fire off pretty good. So, okay, members, over to the weekend update, and I'll see you guys all in the forum on Monday morning.